Beneath the mountains that kiss the clouds and deserts that drink the sun, a secret hums softly beneath every heartbeat in Iran. It is not written on ancient stone tablets, nor whispered fully in the poetry of Hafez. Yet it lives in every drop of blood, every strand of hair, every child born under the vast Persian sky. What if the true saga of a people, of empires risen and fallen, caravans crossing silk roads, and whispered prayers in Zoroastrian temples, could be traced not in history books, but curled tightly within the double helix of DNA? In this land where languages collide and empires once danced with the stars, genes remember what the tongue forgets. Through famine and conquest, migration and love, a hidden map survives, etched into chromosomes like ink on parchment. So what makes the DNA of Iran so startlingly unique among the world's peoples? What ancient echoes in foreign footprints shape this nation's very cells? Let us listen to the genes, to the murmured stories locked away in molecules, and follow their winding trail through 40,000 years of humanity's restless journey. Are you ready to uncover what lies beneath the skin of Iran? Iran, cradle of poets and prophets, crossroads of East and West, has home to over 85 million people, bound by Persian pride yet woven from countless tribes, languages, and forgotten kingdoms. This is not just the country, it is a living museum of human migration and mingling, layered in stone, script, and song. Nestled between the Caspian Sea and the Persian Gulf, bordered by the Caucasus, Mesopotamia, Central Asia, and the Indian subcontinent, few places have witnessed so many footsteps of traders, conquerors, and nomads alike. When historians speak of Iran, they conjure images of Cyrus the Great, Persepolis, the mighty Achaemenid Empire, and the poetic brilliance of Rumi and Verdausi. But beneath the grand palaces and lyrical verses lies another, deeper heritage, one invisible to the naked eye. Geneticists now know that Iran's true story is not just its ruins or literature, but a molecular testament to survival and synthesis. The Iranian genome is a palimpsest, an ancient manuscript overwritten by countless scribes yet never fully erased. In this journey, we will peel back the layers of time, tracing how Iran's DNA became a mosaic of migrations and how it continues to surprise scientists today. Because in Iran, identity is not only sung or spoken, it is inherited in flesh and bone. Long before the rise of Persepolis or the chants of Zoroastrian fire temples, the Iranian plateau was already home to ancient wanderers. Modern DNA studies suggest that humans began settling this region at least 40,000 years ago, when Homo sapiens drifted out of Africa, braving harsh climates and rugged mountains. These earliest Iranians carried genetic lineages known today as haplogroups, unique codes that trace deep ancestry like labels on branches of our family tree. One of the oldest common haplogroups found in Iranians is J2, an ancient marker tied to Neolithic farmers of the Fertile Crescent. As agriculture bloomed between 10,000 and 8,000 years ago, these early farmers spread their seeds and their genes, forging the backbone of civilizations from Mesopotamia to the Indus Valley. But Iran was never just a receiver, it was a crossroads. Nomadic herders from the Eurasian steppes poured southward during the Bronze Age, around 5,000 years ago, carrying Indo-European languages and new genetic signatures, notably haplogroup R1a. These ancient migrations left lasting traces. A recent genetic survey revealed that up to 25 to 30 percent of Iranian men still carry R1a, a living echo of the steppe tribes who shaped the language family that birthed Persian itself. Meanwhile, other threads were woven from the east and south. Gene flows from South Asia and even distant East Asia trickled in through trade routes and occasional waves of conquest. Each group left behind snippets of DNA, like pages torn from a shared history book. Archaeology confirms what the genes whisper that the Iranian plateau has always been a stage for both settlement and exchange, for isolation and hybridization. In this crucible, a people formed whose genetic memory stretches back to the dawn of civilization and still hums in their veins. Yet the ancient bedrock was just the beginning. Over millennia, Iran became a magnet for invaders, migrants, and merchants, 
each adding new syllables to its genetic language. First came the Elamites and Medes, local tribes who merged power and kinship to found early kingdoms. Then the Achaemenid Empire rose in the 6th century BCE, stretching from Greece to the Indus River. This vast domain connected Persians to Greeks, Egyptians, and Scythians, creating a swirl of cultural and genetic exchanges. Alexander the Great's conquest around 330 BCE left more than marble ruins. Macedonian soldiers married local women, introducing subtle Greek genetic traces that still linger faintly in the Iranian gene pool. Centuries later, Arab armies swept through Persia in the 7th century CE, bringing Islam and genetic threads from the Arabian Peninsula. Though culturally transformative, genetic studies show that the Arab conquest altered Iranian DNA only modestly. About 10 to 15 percent of modern Iranian genetic markers reflect Arabian ancestry. Next, the Mongols thundered across the Iranian plateau in the 13th century, led by Hulagu Khan, grandson of Genghis. They raised cities, but also intermarried and settled. Small but notable pockets of East Asian genetic markers, around 3 to 5 percent in some regions, speak of this violent yet intimate encounter. Meanwhile, the Silk Road did its quiet work for centuries. Traders from China, India, Central Asia, and the Mediterranean crossed deserts and mountains, leaving behind more than spices and silk. Genetic studies detect South Asian and even slight African contributions, a testament to Iran's position as a hub where caravans paused and families formed. Unlike some regions where conquests erased older lineages, Iran's genetic core proved remarkably resilient. Ancient haplogroups like J2 and R1A persist strongly, showing that while empires rose and fell, the foundational threads endured. Modern researchers analyzing autosomal DNA, the mixed genetic material from both parents, consistently find that Iranians share closer ties with other West Asian populations, yet remain distinct from Turks, Arabs, and South Asians. It's a signature blend, layers of ancient farmers, steppe nomads, empire builders, and foreign traders, all intertwined into a unique genetic tapestry. So what does this living genetic manuscript reveal that sets Iranians apart today? For one, the strong presence of haplogroups like J2 and R1A, alongside rare lineages like L and Q, creates a profile that is both typically West Asian yet unmistakably Persian. For example, some studies note that Iranians have lower levels of East Asian ancestry than neighboring Central Asian groups, despite Mongol invasions, a testament to cultural resilience and limited intermarriage after conquest. Interestingly, modern Iranian genomes often contain traces of ancient Caucasus hunter-gatherer DNA, which is relatively rare elsewhere in the Middle East. This component adds to their unique clustering in global genetic maps, a subtle fingerprint of prehistoric contact with tribes north of the Caspian Sea. Health-wise, this genetic legacy means certain traits appear more commonly. Some inherited conditions, like beta thalassemia, occur at higher rates, while other markers contribute to distinctive physical features, like hair texture or eye color variations within different regions. Most fascinating is how the Iranian genome resists being boxed neatly into any single regional category. It is a bridge, a red thread binding the Mediterranean, Central Asia, and South Asia, yet retaining an identity robust enough to stand apart. In a world that often tries to define nations by borders, Iranian DNA is a reminder that identity can flow like a river, shaped by mountain passes, caravans, and empires, yet always finding its own path. Yet numbers and markers alone cannot tell the full story. Iran's genes do not merely dictate bloodlines, they echo in verses sung at Nowruz, in the intricate dance of carpets woven by hand, and in the stories grandmothers whisper under pomegranate trees. Every cell carries the resilience of ancestors who survived famine, foreign rule, and the harsh whims of nature. This inheritance fuels a cultural pride that transcends modern politics, a reminder that the Persian spirit is older than any dynasty and more enduring than shifting borders. In Iran, to study one's DNA is to feel the pulse of ancient empires and nomadic tribes flicker alive in a newborn's heartbeat. It's knowing that identity is not static. It is a living river, fed by countless tributaries, yet always distinctly Persian at its mouth. So when an Iranian recites a line of Hafez or stands amid the ruins of Persepolis, they do so with history coded not just in language or stone, but in the very cells that breathe and dream. In the end, DNA is not destiny, alone. It is a library, 
and each generation chooses which stories to remember, retell, and cherish. From Stone Age wanderers to Silk Road traders, Mongol horsemen to modern poets, Iran's DNA is a living testament to humanity's capacity to merge, adapt, and endure. It whispers of ancient farmers, steppe warriors, and empire builders, but also of everyday people who loved, traded, migrated, and dreamed under the same star-filled sky we see today. So which part of this story surprised you most? Did you see echoes of your own ancestry in these ancient migrations? Share your thoughts and family stories in the comments below. We'd love to hear how your roots connect to this shared human journey. If you enjoyed unraveling the secrets woven into Iran's DNA, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more untold genetic tales, and join us next time as we decode the hidden history within us all. Because no matter where we live, the past walks beside us, whispered softly by ourselves, waiting to be heard.